And welcome, everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for the Victor Adventure with Jace. We have gone through all of the, uh, you know, bosses or adventures so far. We are on the final one with Victor, pretty excited about this. Gonna see how we do. We got a level 12 Jace. We of course have the same starting deck as always. Um, as far as our relic item, we have uh, this Berserker's Buckle, rare when I survive damage, grant me plus two, plus two. It was a tough decision between that one and this Deceiver's Crest. So whenever uh, Jace would level up, we get a zero cost shock blast because that's Jace, Jace's uh, champion spell. So zero cost shock blast in hand. That's not too bad either, but I'm gonna go with this because like that plus two plus two, that like that size really matters with your champions. It makes the challenger uh, with Jace much better and really allows us to block uh, more than normal as well. Um, but we only get one, uh, only one relic item because we are only at level twelve. We've uh, so far we have um, we have defeated every single adventure first try, uh, first try gamer over here. Um, <laughs> so we haven't leveled up our Jace too much. So like, you know, if we get to two more levels and we get a common relic slot. So like if we die here and, you know, play through this die, then, you know, maybe we actually get some more reputation and can, uh, you know, level up Jace to make it a little easier. But, uh, we're going to try at just reputation rank 12 for Victor. It's going to be my first time. So let's see. Victor says, utmost efficiency for the mutator. It's epic when a foe summons a unit, grant it a random keyword. So every single uh, unit that they summon gets a random keyword. That's going to be pretty tough. So let's get to it. Let's just see how we do. Let's see if we can defeat Victor also on a first try. Kind of looking at the thing here. Okay, looks like we have a zero for our mid boss. And down to Victor all the way down here. Okay. So, we got Plaza Guardian to start with. Oh, let's check a look, take a look at our deck. All right, so our Jaces are now six fours that if they survive damage. They get plus two, plus two. And our, ooh, our Forge Chief has Quick Attack. Okay, because we get like one random common thing on, on some random card. And so that's what we got. We got Forge Chief, Quick Attack. All right, let's get started. Uh, round start, the foe creates a Plaza Guardian in hand. Okay. Something blocks your path. Oh, yeah. Let's get a let's get a power first. That's what's up. Um, I think we're gonna choose this Trifarian Might. <laughs> That's a pretty good one. So every time we summon a five plus power ally, it strikes the weakest enemy. That does like our Jace. Remember, is a six four. So that's gonna start that right there, and then we'll kind of find other ones. If we're facing Gangplank with all the powder kegs, we kind of like that Bouncing Blade. But I'll just take a good old Trifarian Might. That sounds good. Okay, let's fight Plaza Guardian. Yeah, Trifarian Might can can definitely carry runs. If you, you know, like if you can, if you can get enough five plus power allies, Trifarian Might can carry. That's a really good power that we just got. All right, Golden Golden Crush Bot is Auto Mulligan, and I kind of want to Mulligan everything else, but. Uh, yeah, let's just send those back, too. Okay, there's a Jace. Good. Uh, <laughs> I don't have very good emotes. Alright, 1-1 one, one Overwhelm. You got it. Man, that thing's a scout. So we're gonna go forge it tomorrow first. Or just assembly line. I think we go forge it tomorrow first. Oh, right, we have the Nexus power. You know, it's been a, been a few days since we played this. Kind of forgot. We have the Nexus power that gives all, all of our units, whenever they're summoned, they get plus X plus zero, where X is, at, you know, the amount of six plus cost spells in our hand. 
So if we can find another 6 plus cost spell, then we can have all of our units gain, you know, plus 2, plus 0. I fight for a brighter Man, that with Trifarian Might? That does sound pretty silly. Okay, so we haven't played a 6 plus cost spell yet for that. Um... Tech engaged. So let's see. I guess I'm still just gonna. Mm. So I want to keep these in hand, but I also want to play them. It's a rough spot. I guess I'll just play it. I think they targeted Plaza Guardian. Yep. So they're gonna get more and more Plaza Guardians. Let's get to work. That's fine. Who wants a taste of progress? Uh, probably you. That'd be my guess. Powering up. All right, Jason, nine five now. And Jace levels up. Tomorrow has never looked so good. What's up, Broccoli Sniper? Dark Phoenix? Hope everybody's having a good one. How can I help? Alright, so Eager Apprentice. Forge Chief. The Forge Chief already having quick attacks pretty sweet, so now it gets two other keywords. Maybe we get some lifesteal. Yeah, Trifarian Might's just a super strong keyword for sure. Um, no... Okay, no scouts. We're just good there. Do you have... Yo, Challenger. So we'll do those two. And then that should be game. Never mind. Alright, down to four. Oh, come on. Nice, we can block. We can block and lose it with that thing. Sure. Oh, fearsome? That's annoying. Shock Blast! Okay, so we took 6 damage for the first fight, so we're down to 24. But I really like where we're at with having uh, Trivarian Might as a power. I feel pretty good about this, about our chances with that power. Now that's what I call progress. I wish we could just pass. So we have 4 rerolls now? Wow, we start with a lot of rerolls. Cause yeah, I, I do not want any of these cards at all. So I guess we'll use a reroll. Pharaoh's Financier is playable. We can take that. Mirror Mage, kind of playable. Get Excited, also playable. I'll take the Pharaoh's Financier though. That card's good. Is that even in our deck to begin with? I don't think it was. All right, we got reinforcements. Who we got? Tom Kinch, Leeson, Leona. Meh. Definitely want, like, Lux and Heimer. You know, like that kind of stuff, because we're a Jace deck. Uh, none of these are really doing it for me. I got these four rerolls. I feel like I'm just, like, swimming in rerolls over here. I'm just going to be wasting wasting rerolls. Oh, I guess I should... I, I didn't even think about Trifarian Might with the previous champions. But anyway, now we have... Let's see. We got Echo. So we could... Yeah, because, like, Echo's going to be a 4-2... I mean, Aphelios is so cool, though, because Gifts from Beyond gives us lifesteal, and, like, lifesteal is so important. 
And so I, I actually really like taking a Felios a lot of time because then, you know, once you start stabilizing, you start getting life steal with these moon weapons, and then you re you know, you get to go basically you can re with Aphelios, you get to like reheal back up to thirty every single battle. Um, and so that's super nice. Uh, but the Echo is going to be really good with the Trifarian Might. Because it's going to be a 4-2. All we have to do is have a 1-6 plus cost spell in our hand. Then it's a 5-2. Um, but I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going to take that Aphelios. I think I think that getting that lifesteal and, you know, going back up to 30 every battle is really important. Alright, so looking at what we have. So we have a healer over here, which I don't care about. We have a spells chest, which that's pretty cool. Over here we have a gold chest, which I don't care about. And Adaptatron 3000, which that sounds... I don't know. Kind of cool, I guess. So it's going to be either the Adeptron 3000 or the Spells Chest. You know, one of those two. So let's take a look at our battles. Round start, the foe has a 50% chance to create a Lucky Find in hand, and I have a 25% chance. Okay. I mean, that's that seems like an easy battle. All units have when I'm summoned set my stats to 2-5. No, forget that. Forget that. We have Trifarian Might. Yeah, forget that. All right, we'll do some... We'll get some Lucky Finds. They have a t yeah, forget that. Okay, so this is just like a a pretty good hand of you know not six plus cost cards. Um, so I'm gonna send those two back because I want the six plus cost cards. I want my champions. Specifically, Jace and six plus cost cards, because these these cards make. Um, I will pass. Cool. We'll do uh, give it all. Not gonna lie, kind of want to do give it all. So I don't know if I'm really like that scared of like anything that they're gonna do. Alright, I guess we'll tr trade with the quick attack. So as you can tell, I'm tr so I'm trying to just acquire like one more six plus cost spell so that th then these are gonna be five power, right? I'm trying to unlock my Trifarian Might power. Because for example, like that's a three three scout. I play this thing, it's a five three, kills it. Boom. I'll go ahead and just pass. We need one more 6 plus cost spell. Oh, uh, Waking Sand, that's annoying. Because it's Ephemeral. Could Mystic Shot it. Yeah, probably should. I get a lot more damage if I just Mystic Shot it. Alright. Blech. Well, they didn't play anything for me to kill with my Jace, but I could still play Jace as an 8-4. I think I may just play this Eager Apprentice since there's nothing to kill. Refill some mana. I like the Trifarian Might power. That's your big plan, playing a 6-4? Alright, so it needs Nightfall to make a Moon Weapon. Let's go and lead with you. Um, I'll go ahead and give you... Quick attack. I know, like, we have the get plus two, plus two with the challenger. I don't really need that. Ah, No expensive spells in hand. Um. Hmm. Pass? Oh, come on, really? AI playing it well, they also just passed. Alright, fine. Hey Rosa, got some new tweaks to the power circuitry. Great. Thank you. I wanna kill stuff with my Trifarian Might. Severum. Boom. Hmm. I'll play you also. Uh, 
Okay, we found a lucky find. Lucky find you, get a spell shield. Awesome. And then we're gonna give you Lifesteal. Sure. Sure. And now we'll give it all, so we can give everything. No, that's mean. Alright, so the other four things are gonna be 15, 9, quick attack, life steal, spell shield. So I think that'll be enough to to kill the opponent, as well as heal my Nexus back up to 30. GG's. <laughs> yep. So we're not going to get the... You know, with a Felios, you're not going to get, like, the time achievement, right? Like, we're not going to, like, kill our opponent super fast and get the achievement based on time, but we can maybe get the, uh, you know, heal our Nexus back to 30 achievement. Okay, so two cards to the deck. Mystic Shot summons a random one cost Poro. These other two cards I don't care about whatsoever. So I guess we'll choose Mystic Shot. I could also see rerolling. Um, I only got two rerolls left. So I already have two Mystic Shots in the deck, so this is going to be four Mystic Shots, but then all four of them will be able to get a random one cost Poro. I don't know if I even want a random one cost Poro. I don't even know if I want that. I I guess. I don't think I'll use a reroll on that. You know, that's the thing. Like, rerolls are kind of valuable. All right, we're not healing our Nexus, obviously. But the healer can cut cards. Oh, our healers can cut cards. That's actually... That's actually a thing, right? Because I really want to cut Golden Crush Bot and Pharaoh's Sky Cruiser. I really want to cut one of those. Um, but the rest of the cards I don't really want to cut. But just those two, I want to cut really bad. Or we go to the Spells Chest. Ooh. Let's maybe cut a card. Come on. No! We missed. Okay. Reroll. Yes. Cut. Haha. -ha. Got rid of golden crush pots. Nice. Okay, what do we have? Grant a random keyword to the first unit the foe summons each round. Well, they already have keywords. <laughs> An in-game update's available. Alright, random update. Back at it. They're trying to update the game and keep me keep me down. Okay. That's a fair point that like with our Nexus power, those Poros are a little bit stronger than normal. Ugh, we still get this one that I don't want. Alright, we're gonna send all those back. Like Aphelios is cool and stuff, but for like later on, we don't need Aphelios right away. Good. We want these six cost spells right away. Eager Apprentice, cool. Um. Mm, I'll play. Bleh. Maybe I should be playing the Mountain Goat there. But it's good to get in the Forge tomorrow and play. Yeah, I guess it's just good to get in the Forge tomorrow and play. So again, I'm keeping the six cost spells in hand. Let's get rid of this thing with the Mystic Shot so that my power doesn't get rid of that. Alright, then they have this thing, which is a little bit cooler. Um, go... Challenger against like these little poros. What do I do? What don't I do? Uh, yeah, you do a lot of stuff. Quick attack, spell shield, augment. 
You die. Yeah, you do a lot of stuff. Alright, Financier is a good draw. Puts another 6 plus cost spell in hand. Looks like we can give it all again. So now we have two 6 plus cost spells. Get some good lifesteal. Alright, lifesteal you. Take over them. Oh, I'm one mana short from playing Mountain Goat and also Overwhelm, but that's alright. Mountain Goat that thing. Man, Trifarian Might is a power. <laughs> Trifarian Might's a power. I guess he could. I don't really want to take any damage. I guess I could have just played the Forge Chief and killed it, probably. Uh, Alright, good. Oh, impact. Mm. Yay, didn't attack. Got some new tweaks to the power circuitry. Great. We're running into heat issues. What you got? No. My quick attack unit. No. I got rid of my quick attack and my spell shield. Geez, so back up to 30 still. That's the, that's why I really like taking Aphelios. You can stay at 30. So us having Aphelios and having Trifarian Might, I feel like we're going to be winning at this. But again, I don't know exactly how powerful Victor is or Azir, the mid-boss. So I'm not sure exactly how tough this is going to be, but I like our chances. Wow, Battle Fury can heal our Nexus? I like healing my Nexus, and I like 6 plus cost spells for, the pow for my power for all the other units, so... We'll go and take that. Like, the Get Excited is really nice, too. Usually we'd be taking that Get Excited, but I'm, I want six cost spells for my regular Nexus power. Okay, champion item. What we got? All right, so I'm going to just take the plus one, plus one on Aphelios. So that it will be it will be Trifarian might a easier. I think I'm going to just do that. Okay, heal or cut and cut a card or the card shop. I don't want to just cut a card again. I feel like our decks are already like pretty awesome. They don't really need like new cards from the from uh, the card shop. Uh, all right, I'm fine cutting Forge Chief or Mountain Goat. I'm fine cutting either one. I suppose Mountain Goat's easier to enable with Trifarian Might than Forge Chief is. I don't really care about casting my expensive stuff, so... Alright, see ya, Forge Chief. You were cool while you lasted. Alright, so there are Sand Soldiers everywhere have plus two, plus zero. You don't think I should cut those cards? Eh, we'll be fine without them. Hands looking good. We'll be alright. Okay, so I feel like these sand soldiers are going to put a hurting on me. Felius would have the Trifarian Might. 
You don't, but I'll just... Mm, could just get the Mountain Goat in play, because I'm not casting this assembly line anytime soon. The reason to play the Mountain Goat is that we could make a gem to help the Nightfall for Ophelios. Alright, yeah, I'll do that. Should have passed. Should have passed. We'll do this. I fight for a brighter tomorrow. So doing that so that I can play gem and pass. Our stories, our struggles have built this empire. Alright, we're gonna play you. Actually, you know what? Let's do Crescendum first. Desert by my side. Hmm. Alright, I guess that's the thing. Another six plus cost spell, please. Oh man. So that Battle Fury just heals my Nexus. But I love Glorious Evolution, but Glorious Evolution also makes this assembly line worse. Ooh. Ooh hoo hoo. Alright, I'm gonna take this Battle Fury. Get on in! You can tell me. Oh, we don't actually have give it all right now. I'm, I'm so used to having give it all. But I don't really know how we die. We're going to take a lot of damage. I suppose. Yeah, that's kind of annoying. Both my champions survive, and that's the important thing. Spell shield? Does Trifarian might get through spell shield? I think it does. I am doing a pretty poor job of getting more moon weapons. Could have played a spell last round and got another moon weapon. I guess. Oh, you're not even dead yet? I think I had six health? Okay, they're not dead yet. I'm back to 30. Cool, can get another life steal with that. Yeah. Annoying yet again. Okay, you're at two out of four. Is 
Basically doing all that to keep Aphelios alive. Yeah, full heal after the boss, but can I get an S ranking even if I full heal, like if I heal at all? Like I, I don't know if I get the S ranking if I let them heal me, I'm not sure. Okay, three out of four. Just a 6-6 six, six elusive, that's random. Do anything? Our path is fixed. Now we must walk it. Oh, I don't even have a two cost card anymore? That's disappointing. Fine though, of course. I'm on it. It's probably a better way to go about this, but all right, we're back to thirty. It's all good. Have you gotten the S rank at all yet? Yes, I have gotten S rank in. Um, like for skill, yeah, you you have to end like the last boss on thirty health and not heal. I think I'm not exactly sure, but yeah, I've, I've gotten it a few times. Um, okay, so all these cards are useless. I guess we reroll. I mean, zero mana elixir of iron is playable. Like we we can play that card. So I guess that, that one's not useless. And I guess it turns on... We can play that. We'll keep a reroll. It helps enable the Aphelios, too. Yes, new power! Grow my health to match my power. Ooh. I kind of like this the best defense. Because we're going to have a lot of power thanks to our just regular Nexus power that gives our things like... You know, plus two, plus zero when we have two six cost spells, you know? So we're going to have, you know, like our all of our units have more power than health because of that. So then we can we can attack and grow the health also. I like that. Surviving damage grant plus one, plus one. Pretty nice too. And Emperor's Dies. I don't really care about that one. So uh, that just takes up a board spot. I don't like that one. So these two, though. I like these two. Um, I think we'll go with the best defense with how we have it. Okay, so we got two routes to go. If we go this route, we're basically just about to fight Victor as is. Game start, the foe summons a Hexcore Foundry, and all their cards cost one less. So Foundry, just like we we know the Foundry, that, that one's always a, a tough one. This one, they get a Grumpy Rock Bear. Oh, just whenever they summon a grump, Grumpy Rock Bear, it gets plus two, plus two, and Overwhelm. So all their regular 5-4s are now 7-6 Overwhelms. That also get another keyword. That sounds kind of tough. Okay. Yeah, people like the best defense. Uh, which way to go? The thing is, is like I don't know if I want to keep water. Like I like my deck right now. I don't know if I want to keep watering it down by getting more and more cards. Maybe we do. Alright, we're gonna go this way. So we're not, like, just fighting Victor right away. And I like dodging the Foundry. The Foundry can be scary. Okay. Pass, pass, pass. Pass. 
There we go. We want six plus cost spells. And so that's why I'm keeping the financier to grab one. Because we need we need them to enable our Trifarian might. Disguise descend. <laughs> I see. Just keep on healing our Nexus with the Battle Fury. Harsh Winds isn't bad, though. You know what? Let's just grab a Harsh Winds. That, a, that is a pretty awesome day. Boo. They never walk into my Trifarian Might. I, I know I did miss out on five points of power. Five points of damage. Uh this is where the magic happens. Pharaoh Sky Cruiser. Thank you for playing stuff. Thank you for playing stuff. Trifarian Might is busted. And now we grow the health? Yeah. Oh no, do I have too many cards? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, we got nine. We good. Sure, I'll take a Pharaoh's finance here. I help when I can. Shut up, I can. Get another six plus cost spell. Right, I think we can just open attack and kill them. Man, Trifarian might. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no rock bears. This has not been too challenging so far. Trifarian might not exactly fair. Ooh, minus two cost, the Battle Fury? So it's still six cost, so that's good. When you cast, shuffle two copies of me into the deck. I do not want more copies of you, no. And I don't want any more of you. So I guess we'll do this. Could definitely re-roll, but I'll just take another Battle Fury. You know, like I want six plus cost spells. So we can cut a card or an item chest. Let's go to the item chest. When I'm summoned or destroyed, summon a follower with my cost from your regions. We get another 3-drop from our regions. That's not bad. Especially if we can have a lot of these 6-plus cost cards. But I also I want to put more of these 6-plus cost cards in my deck. So I kind of want... I think I want to choose this assembly line. So I just want more of those in my deck. So I want more, more of those in my hand. Shock Blast! Um... I can't read what that says. When cast, summon a follower with my cost from your regions. I love that. I may just take all of these. All right, I always buy a reroll token. I could just take all of these, honestly. I like drawing a card with the Forge of Tomorrow. I like that. And I like I like having more Pharaoh's Financiers and you want to have Quick Attack, sure. All right, our deck's looking great. Could even re-roll that and buy some more stuff. Let's see, what is this? That's going to be a champion item, and that's an urchin. I would rather have the champion item. So what's this? When a player summons an ally, give it minus two, minus zero. No, that's not good for my Trifarian Might. What do you have? Round start, summon a turret? Bleh. Um, yeah, Trifarian, Trifarian Might is always broken. Uh, I guess we go to the turrets. I don't want to go to the... All my things have minus two, minus zero this round. But I want the champion item. Okay, what do I have? I have two rerolls. I only have 265 gold if I reroll that. We could get something else pretty cool. I feel like we should use a reroll so we can use some of this gold. Gifts from Beyond says, when cast, cast me again. Eh. 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 Alright, well that was kind of a waste of a reroll. 
We get two Poros with the Poro Snacks. Uh, they're just running out of running out of room. Alright, well I guess that was just kind of a waste of a reroll. Alright, we'll go this way. I would rather have that champion item. But I really don't like that minus two minus zero. Getting the two weapons is pretty good. Just don't really need two weapons, and I don't really want another copy. I don't want like more copies of that card in my deck. Okay, you're gone. Um, I could keep Elixir of Iron, but nah, I don't need you. We want our six cost spells. We're gonna have one six cost spell with the Pharaoh's Financier, but hopefully we can find another. Yeah, there we go. Icequake? Icequake sounds cool. And of course we're gonna reheal that anyway. I am, I was even attacking that as that as like a 5-3 because I had the elixir iron I forgot about. Grows the health. <laughs> How can I help? Um Alright, so we're gonna need to do this first to enable Nightfall. Cause I could cast Gifts from Beyond to enable Nightfall, but I don't really want you know but then I guess we still would create Oh yeah, yeah, because yeah, we need to Oh, we still create the Nightfall one. Okay, alright. Anyway, I'll still just do it like this. Alright, let's get Crescendum, so we get more things. Kill more stuff. Eight, three, kill you. Five, five, kill you. Four, six... Go back and kill you. 5-5, five, five, kill you. Alright, taking 5. Uh, we're going to be healing our Nexus just fine. Okay. We're going to go ahead and play this Shock Blast. Get mana back. We have enough. More 6 plus cost spells. Oh, Stonebreaker, you didn't kill something? Oh, no, 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 my Aphelios. That's too bad. I thought that 9-3 would have killed this other thing. I guess not. Scared ya. Hello, so I gotta heal eleven. Doesn't seem too difficult to heal eleven. They are hitting spell shield a lot. They fear tomorrow, the fools. I learned that in class. Hmm. But two moon weapons?
Okay, that should be... Yep, there we go, that's game. We'll heal our 13, get back to 30. So we finished... Yeah, that's the thing about Aphelios. You, know, you can finish every single game back to 30, get that lifesteal moon weapon, but Trifarian Might is making this one pretty easy. We got back to 30. Manifest a card. That's cool. Summon Ephemeral Copy of Me. That can be really cool. I cost zero. No, I don't want you costing zero. All right, so both these are pretty cool. Uh, the Mountain Goat in particular, you know, like if we have Trifarian Might, you know, like we can basically get, you know, another Mountain Goat. But then we may kind of like get too many gems in hand. Like that's that's honestly kind of a problem. I think I may just take the Mystic Shot and then Manifest a card and like try to get an expensive card in my hand. I'm worried about getting too many gems with the other one. If, if that if that Mountain Goat was just like a normal 3-2, I probably would have taken that. Ooh, Zonite Urchin gets a free attack? Or game... Game start, draw two? Do I like that power? I guess so. Is that going to give us too many cards in hand? The thing I like about this draw two is that it puts... It's a, easier for us to get six plus cost spells in our hand if we're drawing an extra two. I guess we do that. But we've seen, like, a lot of these games, I have, like, seven or eight cards. I see draw two more. All right, let's go cut a card. Eh, we can cut Mountain Goat. Yeah, we can just cut Mountain Goat so we don't get these gems. All right, see you, Mountain Goat. Okay. On to the final boss. On to Victor. I guess I didn't see exactly what the power is, but I bet it's like the all their things get plus one plus one for each keyword they have. That's my guess. Yeah. That's what it was like before. Alright, so they they're gonna have lots of keywords. Alright, our hand looks good. I don't know, Mystic Shots may not be that valuable, but we do get to manifest cards from them. We'll keep one Mystic Shot. Yeah, six plus cost spell. Good. Because then we get to, you know, draw three here before our first round. <laughs> so many cards. You know what my Their stuff's going to be big, though. Like, that's the thing about Mystic Shot. It doesn't actually kill stuff. Like, that thing's a 6-4. One, two. I only have two six cost spells in hand. Yeah, I should have sent this other shock block, this other mystic shot back, probably. Oh, the financer is gonna make a third one though. All right, we're good, we're good. So we'll make true shot. This is gonna be five. Perfect. All right, we're good. All right, not as good. what Victor size will be. Join the glorious evolution. I did and zero. Victor's a five seven. Huh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't actually kill Victor, and Victor has regen. I said I really should have played the Cephelios first and killed the Armed Gearhead first. Because of that regen. Hmm. Oh wait, it's a 7-4? Why am I bad at math? I was not thinking that thing was going to be a 7-4. Alright, cool. I'm happy to play Fellows and try with both those. So I grabbed the Gravitum because I was scared. Yeah, this thing's just a 7-4. Okay. Never mind. Alright, so now we're golden. Now we're golden. Wow, 
my hand. So I got a new one. Yeah, we got this game from here. An eight eight. I think we still have that. Yep. So now, Felis is a nine four. We got this from here. I think we're going to be at 30 live. I guess we're going to take a little bit of damage from some elusives. That's probably okay. a little bit of damage from some elusives, that's alright. Uh, actually, no, we don't have to, because this is going to get a 4-0 for me. And I will take another fi Pharaoh's Financier, thank you. No, we do take damage from a 4-0. Alright, getting this card out of my hands, because I had 10 cards, so we can just draw another one. Alright. You got you got your damage on me. Um, I don't know there's like true shot barrage I could do. Easy peasy. I'm just I'm definitely gonna make sure that I'm at 30 life first so we can get the S skill. There's nothing a little ingenuity can't fix. Definitely gonna make sure about that. Always attack with that life steal first. Back to 30. And looks like we're gonna have this. Pass over to me. All right. I'm with you. We'll just take an attack. There we go. Victor completed. Gonna mark today down as a success. Yeah, Trifarian might makes that pretty easy. <laughs> Kind of feel bad. Like I kind of feel like that was too easy. We got Triferian Might plus Aphelios, so we're just always at 30 health all the time. So there we go. We got the S health. That's what we were going for. Um, you know, B and A and the other two. All right. Our Jace has completed the entire adventure, getting through all of uh, the different champions. Looks like ready for some ranking up with some more reputation. Now we'll get 10% more gold. Oh, and just that one. 20 reputation short from that common relic slot also. All right, so whenever you complete this like this, uh, you know, like you can continue to play more, you know, play them again and level up the Jace. And, and the reason to play them some more is to try to uh, get through and get the S ranking on every single champion and... and uh, let's see if I move my webcam out of the way because see you can see like whatever badges you earned um, Last time so try to get like the s badge on every single one like you know s s s across the board 
you know, that that's the challenge. Now, there's no like prizes for doing that um, or anything, but it's just you know, like these are a lot of fun to play. Cause see, like this one, I, I even missed a badge whenever we played against Zed earlier. And so you can kind of go back with your more powerful uh, Jace and go back through these and try to get that S tier badge on all of them. Um, that's what you can do to, to go back and play through. And then move on to the next champion and try to get S tier badges on all of them with every single champion. So there's a lot to <laughs> a lot of replay ability if you can get, um, you know, so I guess this is going to be 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 18, like normally, like besides the prologue, 18 S tier badges to try to get with 15 different champions. That's a lot to play through and, you know, a lot to grind and, you know, of course, level up all your champions to get to level 20. If you're a completion, 22, I guess, sorry. If you're a completionist, that's the that's the thing to do. Try to get try to get all of that. You get your uh, lots of XP for doing that each one, and then you can you know show off. That's that's the thing to do if you are a completionist. Um, and then yes, Glad says they're going to be adding more regions in the future, and then you'll be so you'll be ready for the new content with that also. Um, but they're not always going to be that easy, right? You're not always going to get the Trifarian Might Aphelios combo like we did right there and be able to breeze through. So those y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Leave those comments. Let me know uh, which champion do you want to see next? Which you know, is there another one of these champions that you would like to see me go through and try to complete uh, all the way through? I am gonna record Caitlyn playing against Nautilus because I know people have been asking for Caitlyn versus Nautilus. We're gonna try that up next. Um, but then yeah, if there's any of these other ones, you know, maybe a Yasuo run or something like that, a Tom Kent run. Let me know. Who do you want to see next? Um, but that's going to be it for the Path of Champions for Jace. We have completed. We were successful. Um, yeah, so leave those comments. Uh, hit that like button, all that. All right, thank you so much for watching. Can't ever say that enough. And we'll see you for the next video.